In this video, we'll talk about doing the page setup and then printing our drawing in BricsCAD. So I've got this drawing and in this drawing, I have different views of this same plan. So I've got the plan view, I've got the front elevation, east elevation, section view, and the foundation plan of the same house. And now in this case, I just want to arrange it properly on layouts with proper scales and then I'll plot it from model as well as from layout. So let's first start making our layout. So I've got this layout one, I'll just go to this one and here I have the viewport. So the very first viewport which I have here, I'm just going to select it and I'll delete it. Now after that, we need to start by doing the page setup for this layout and to do that, I'll right click on this layout one and I'll select page setup. Now we'll start with the printer or plotter and in this case let's select print as pdf.pc3 as the plotter. Now in the paper size how about we select NCA and in NCA I'll select this landscape size 11 by 8.5 inches. Now since we are using imperial unit I'll select inches here and also we are plotting our drawing from layout this is the layout so I'll select this layout option here. The scale should be 1 is to 1 because we'll change the scale inside the viewport and we are not going to change it here. So I'll just change it to 1 is to 1 if it's something else. But I have 1 is to 1 already so I'm not going to change it. Now this is plot style and this will decide the way your colors are plotted. Colors, line type and line weight are plotted. So in this case none is selected so whatever the default plot style is well it's going to take that. But I want to plot my drawing in true black and white and for that I'll select monochrome. Now monochrome is the plot style that will just plot everything in black and white and I also want to show monochrome style in my drawing. So not only in plot but I also want to show it here. So I'll check this box. When I check this it will show the monochrome colors here as well. Now the drawing orientation it's portrait. I want it in landscape mode. So let's just change it to landscape now and also if you want to plot with plot styles which is this obviously we want to do that check this box. If you want to include transparency, check this. But I don't want to include transparency so I'll just uncheck it and that's all the option you need. With that, I'll click on OK and we have the NCA paper here. Now, we've got this dotted line and this dotted line is actually the plotter margin and anything beyond this margin won't show up on your final sheet of paper. So, make sure everything is inside this plotter margin if you want it to show on your final plot. Now here we can start by adding the title block but let's not do that and let's just start adding the layout but if you want to add title block you can use insert command to add a title block right here. So in this case I'll just go to this view tab and I'll select this paper space view option and now I'll click at a point right here and I'll just make it well maybe this big and in this view, I just want to add all the elevations. So I'll start with front elevation. So I'll double click inside this and I'll zoom in so that this front elevation is clearly visible. I think this is just about good. So that's it. Now, the scale in this case is pretty random and we actually don't know the scale of this drawing. So let's first change the scale. So I'll double click outside to deactivate this and then I'll select the boundary. All right. Now here we have this is standard scale option in the property palette. So if you don't have this palette, just click on this properties to activate it. And in the standard scale, I'll change my scale to 1 is 200. Now that seems to be working, but it's kind of big. I mean, uh, if even if I extend this viewport, still it's going to take up complete layout. So I'm just going to decrease the scale further but here I don't have anything beyond this value. I mean I just have 1 is 200 that's the smallest scale I can set. So in this case I'll use a custom scale. So I'll go to custom scale and I'll type in 1 by 200 and I'll press enter. BricsCAD will make the calculation and it will show you the scale value. I think in this case we can use even a larger scale. So how about we try 1 by 160 and that looks about good. So that's the scale which I'm going to use here. Now we've got this inside our viewport. Let's just decrease the size of this viewport too. So I'll just make it a bit smaller like this. And that's our front elevation. 
Now, in a similar way, I'll go to this paper space again and I'll make another viewport for east elevation. Again, double click, I'll zoom into this area and again, we need to just double click outside and then change the scale. So select the viewport boundary, go to standard scale and try with 1 is 200 and in this case, this looks just about good. So I'll double click inside and move it slightly to the right so that all the dimensions are also visible. Then I'm going to just double click outside and that's just added the scale in this as well as in this viewport now in both these viewports if you just double click inside you will be able to change the scale and it may happen even accidentally so if you don't want to change the scale accidentally simply by zooming in or out then you should lock these viewports so in this case i did zoomed in and out so in this case the scale has changed so let me just move it here again and uh, once again i'll just double click outside i'll select the boundary and i'll choose the scale so one is 200 though it is selected i'll just select it one more time just to be sure and now i'll lock this viewport to do that i'll go to this display locked option and i'll select yes and now the viewport is locked. So even if I double click inside, the viewport will be activated, but now zooming in and out will not affect the viewport, rather it will just affect the entire layout. So now double click outside and that's our elevation. Now let's go to this layout one and rename it as well. So I'll just call it elevation or elevations because we have two of these. Now I'll click here and I'll do the same thing here for my section view as well as the foundation. So I'll just do that quickly. So I'll delete this viewport and the page setup. So we've got the page setup. Now let's add the viewport. So I'll add the first viewport here for the section view and I'm going to double click and the scale. I think we can try one is 200. So double click outside, select the viewport and select the scale of 1 is 200 that looks good so I'll just keep that one so I'll double click inside and pan it double click outside there we have it let's just decrease its size a bit so that's it now the second one for foundation so paper space view and make another viewport I'll double click inside and here's the foundation plan and again double click outside select the viewport and change the scale so in this case, I'll use a larger scale of 1 is to 50 and this looks just good. So I'll just keep the, this one and here also I'll select both of these viewport and I'll lock them. So I'll select yes and they're both locked. So I've got these two here and now since this is the section view as well as the foundation view, I'll just use a single name. I'll call it section. So again, I'll right click this layout and I'll rename it and I'll call it section. All right, so now we have got two layouts. We also have the model space here and we can actually make another layout for the plan view. But in this case, I'll use model space for the plan view. So I've got this one here and now let's do the page setup. And in this case, I will only include this plan view. To do that, I'll just right click on model and I'll select page setup. Just like layout here also, we need to do the same thing. So print as PDF. In this case, I'm not selecting DWG to PDF. So print as PDF, then NCA 11 by 8.5 inches. Now window, this is the option which we need to change. So I'll just select window. I'll click on this box and I'll define a window. So from this point to this point, that's our window. All right, that's selected. Now it will automatically apply a scale for this drawing. And here I'll just uncheck this transparency. I don't want that. Monochrome is selected. We are in landscape mode. That's fine. Just click OK. And we have done the page setup for this as well. Now we are all set to plot our drawing. Now, if you want to plot just a single sheet, then go to this plot option on the quick access toolbar or the print option and select the location, hit the save button and you've got your first print. Now it's time to check it. So I'll just minimize this and right here we have our plot in complete black and white because we selected monochrome now you can print it in color if you want to and to do that you need to change the plot style table just change it to default and you will have your drawing in color so this is the preview now i'll just cancel it 
because we want it in the defaults. All right. Now, if you want a single sheet to plot all of these views, including the model as well as the layouts, then you can use a multi sheet PDF file for that. And to generate that kind of multi sheet PDF, you can use the publish option. The publish option is right next to this print option. So click on this publish and this will open the publish window. Now here we have a couple of options. So I've got this model view, which will be plotted. We have elevation and section. So these are the three plots that we'll get. Also, if you don't want any of these, you can just select and click on delete to just exclude any of these from the list. We are just plotting everything in PDF. So that's what we'll have here. And now in the publish to option, select PDF, though you can also select whatever is in the plotter. So whatever you have assigned in the page setup, you can select here. But in this case, I'll just select PDF. I want my output in PDF. Also, the location will be desktop. Now we want either single sheet file, you can actually select either single sheet file or one multi sheet file. In this case, we just want a single PDF file, which contains all the views. So I'll select one multi sheet file rather than having multiple files. I just select this one. Now, if you want to specify a name, you can do it here. So let's just do that quickly. So that's our house plan. And I'm not going to change anything else. I'll leave the default values and I'll hit this publish button. Now, do you want to save it? Well, we don't want to save this list. So I'll select no. And here we are. So we have got our drawing published. Now let's check it. So it will show this success message in this pop-up bubble. And let's just minimize it. And right here we have the house plan. So I'll double click. And there we have it. Now, in this case, this is the first view, which is the model view. Now, let me scroll down and that's going to show you the second file, second sheet of this. So that's our elevation. And then we have the section. So inside a single PDF, we have all the three right here. So that's a multi sheet PDF, which you can generate using the publish option. And that was all about doing the page setup and then printing your drawing in BrickSCAD. So if you want more such videos, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon in another video.